Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is uh, Dr. Trevor Dixon. I just want to welcome you all for taking the time out of your schedule or, or pencil this, or inking this into your schedule to be here today. Um, this conference um, has been started about, I guess, 11 years now by Dr. Wong and myself. Um, he's been my partner in this ultrasound conference from, from day one. And this conference didn't start here at the Nutsford Court. It started at the Kingston Public Hospital. So this is a Kingston Public Hospital and a Judge Foundation um, collaborative conference. Um, we came a long way. We came from long, long way. Rooms that weren't probably suited to hold all you guys here for sure. And the acoustics and even the, the, the room wasn't the best for ultrasound conference. This is a lot better, right Dr. Wong? And so we've come a long way. I just want you guys to appreciate it. And all this has been made possible because of donations from people who, who like what we're doing and, you know, give a $10, even a $25 uh, donation. So if you have friends, I know you're, most of you probably can't afford it because you're in training or something, but if you have family members or friends who you know um, can afford it, let them know that, you know, the foundation, what it's done for you and, and what it can continue to do for the upliftment of Jamaica. All right? Every maker make a mark, all right? Um, I want to thank you for traveling both near and far. You know, most people, somebody came all the way from Conwar, Conwar Regional, so that's on the you know, western side of town. And they came here and they were pretty much um, on time. So I want to thank them. Thank you guys for all being here. Um, Dr. Wong has spirited this initiative because he realized the importance of gaining, you guys gaining a competence in the various use of ultrasound. You know, you can practice medicine and, you know, and think you're doing a great job, but when you can have tools in your hand and you know how to use those tools to make a diagnosis, to make a difference in someone's lives, and that's what real medicine or evidence-based medicine is about. You know, when you can put the probe down and see free fluid, you know how to act. When you see hydronephrosis on a kidney, you know how to act. When you can look at somebody's ejection fraction and you're not guessing because they have swelling in their legs, it's, it's actually not the heart. So, you know, think about somewhere else, whether it's the kidneys or, or, or whatever, thyroid function or whatever. So you want to be able to use the ultrasound to narrow your differential and, and, and really make a difference and, and save lives, right? And you know, this is the public hospital, so a lot of these patients, you know, you give them a script to go and get an ultrasound on the outside, um, half of them are not going to go get it because they can't afford to get it, right? Or they make other decisions about getting food for their family. So, you know, we know that the ultrasound has many uses, but you know, you have to think about some of the ethical issues that you're going to be able to combat by just being able to use the ultrasound in the emergency department. I'm not going to talk much more about that. You'll see in the next two days the importance of ultrasound and how to use it. We're trying to give less lectures and more hands-on. That's always the goal of this lecture series and workshop. But we think the lectures are important so everybody's on the same page. Now, some people have a you know, better understanding of ultrasound than others, but it's just a basic understanding so you can you know, understand what you do when you put, put that probe down. I just want to start by introducing some of the, um, the speakers that traveled pretty far to come here and um, volunteer their time. Okay, they don't get paid for this, they actually volunteer their time, so I want you to really appreciate the sacrifice that they made to, um, to be here. I knocked on a lot of doors and a lot of people said they wouldn't, weren't able to make it, so these folks were able to say yes, and a lot of them weren't exactly comfortable in their element to do it, but they said, you know, or in their private lives, you know, they had to make sacrifices to be here, so please show them, show them some appreciation. Um, I have one of my um, residents here who's, who, I'm at Jacoby Medical Center right now, and um, one of my residents here is uh, Dr. Jeffrey Kim. He's currently, um, he, he did his uh, medical, medical school training at Brown University over there in Rhode Island, and then he went on to, he's in his emergency medicine re residency at Jacoby Medical Center, which is in the um, Bronx. New York, and um, Jacoby is, is quite a unique institution. It's one of the largest residency program in the United States, if not in the world. They have about 84 residents. Um, we have a wonderful residency program. Um, it's 84 residents, but it's amazing how in a short space of time you get to know each one of them 
individually. And Dr. Kim showed a, a keen interest, not just in ultrasound, but in, in its application in, in global health. So that's why amongst 84 residents, that's why I kind of chose him to be here. The other residents that I chose to be here wasn't able to make it, um, but he was able to, to make it. So um, he's, a, he's a good sample, sample size of the, the caliber of, of residents that we have in the program. He's very astute, he's very um, intelligent, and he will share whatever he knows with you, even though he's only a, a first or second year? Second. Sorry, second year resident. <laughs> He's second year resident and um, he does a great job. So Dr. Dr. Jeffrey Kim, just raise your hand so they can see who you are. He's gonna be giving you some talks. And uh, second, we have uh, Dr. Jacinth James. She's actually from Jamaica. She left here many, many years ago when she was a little, little girl, I can imagine that. And she's from Westmoreland side and she I actually went to medical school at uh, Wayne State University, that's over there in Michigan, right? Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. Um, she did her residency training back on the East Coast. East Coast always wins in the um, Bronx, New York. She was at Lincoln uh, Hospital in the Bronx, which also is one of the, they see one of the highest volume in the country, which is about 200 patients per year, right? Um, is it 200 or 160? 170. So there's 170,000 patients they see in a year. So that's a busy program. And they see the population is similar to what you see at Kingston Public Hospital, like a lot of penetrating trauma and uh, blunt traumas. And they see everything there. So um, She did her fellowship training at the uh, Henry Ford Hospital. So she went back to D Detroit. So she's, she definitely loved Detroit. We can tell that, OK? So uh, she did her fellowship training in ultrasound. So this year you have uh, two doctors that are, are actually fellowship trained in ultrasound. Um, she's actually at the, she's in Canada right now. She's a Canadian citizen, I believe, and a Jamaican citizen, of course, but um, she did her, she's at the Niagara Health System in uh, Ontario, Canada right now. Um, so that's Dr. Justin James. And, and last but certainly not least is uh, Dr. Gladstone Hackett. Uh, this is his second year that he's coming to do the social song conference. He missed last year because um, he has a little one that's, that's actually born now, right? He's currently practicing at Houston at the University of Texas Health Science Center in the Texas Medical Center. He went to medical school at the Rutgers, uh, Robert Wood Johnson. Uh, graduated in 2011. Yeah, and uh, he did his residency training at the Temple University Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And he went on to do his ultrasound fellowship at uh, Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson in uh, 2015. Um, all of these doctors are doctors that I met while, while working with them in, in my various roles. I met Dr. James at, um, in Missouri. I worked at the University of Missouri for a little bit. And then Dr. Hackett. I met him because people just, once they met me, I was in Jersey, they said, you gotta be Dr. Hackett. And they told Dr. Hackett, you gotta be Dr. Dixon. So, so we met. <laughs> so, and you know, I found out that he had, you know, he has, he has Jamaica, he's Jamaican, so that made it a lot easier to get him on board. And my name is uh, Dr. Trevor Dixon. I'm from Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. Um, I, I did my medical school at Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. And it was, formerly was called UMDNJ. New Jersey, and then I went on to do to work at New York Beth Israel Medical Center, and I also um, University of Missouri, and now I'm at Jacoby Medical Center in the Bronx. So I work with Dr. Kim. Um, I forgot to mention that I, I'm kind of unique because I did my bachelor's in ultrasound at uh, SUNY Downstate many years ago. So my perspective on ultrasound has always been more of a, a global approach opposed to an emergency medicine approach. So while I have a heavy emphasis on emergency medicine, I look at ultrasound from a global, almost like a radiology um, point of view, although it is still centered around emergency medicine. So you're getting everything here. There's nothing that's gonna you're gonna be missed by taking this course. It's not an inferior course in any way. So thank you. And last but not least, I want to thank Dr. Wong for having us here and 
and for doing the legwork behind the scenes so that you guys could have a comfortable and, and a smooth conference. Thank you.